Hello and welcome back to Wireman's Whimsy. This is a, another uh, alternate card using elements from the March 2024 Paper Pumpkin Kit called uh, Memorable Meadows. Uh, what I've done is I've taken the bonus stamp set that we got with the kit, which is just gorgeous, and I've stamped in the background and I've stamped it again and uh, just fussy cut out an extra set of flowers. And I've used the Hello Irresistible uh, paper on the background on a soft seafoam uh, card base. So the colors I've used are Bubble Bath, um, Berry Burst, Daffodil Delight, the Lost Lagoon is the darker green in the leaves, and then Soft Seafoam for the leaves. So um, I also, I don't know if you can see it, I used my score or my, yeah, my scoring tool on my um, paper trimmer to just do a quarter inch edge all the way around uh, to kind of mimic what's going on in the background. I found it just a little bit plain and I took my blending brush and I did some soft sea foam just around the edges. I'm going to do some bubble bath. Uh, around the edges on the one I make and I'm changing up the paper because I didn't have all these scatter dots around it when I first did it so I'm going to use still again the hello irresistible but I'm going to use the paper with the um, the more of the yellow in it so I've got a standard card base five and a quarter by four mat and then this is cut to five by three and three quarters for the card front. Um, I've already done all the stamping and I've already done the fussy cutting because uh, honestly, you don't need to watch me do fussy cutting on the video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the, um, the scoring to show you how I did it. I'm going to do the blending brush. I'm going to stamp the greeting on the bottom and then we'll build up the card front. So I'm just gonna pop this over here. Um, so that we can still see it. So I'm just going to move the colors up out of the way because I'm going to need to bring my um, paper trimmer in. So let's just move all of this out of the way. I'm going to bring my paper trimmer in and I'm going to put it this way because that way everybody can see what I'm doing. So I want the ridges to be raised up on this, not sunk down. So what I need to do, honestly, because I'm using this in a different angle than I normally do, I'm going to take my cutter out just so that I don't actually use it by mistake. So I'm putting this upside down so that the scoring pushes it up and I'm lining up at my quarter inch mark here and then I'm scoring like that. And then I'm flipping it round, lining it up on that quarter inch line and coming in again, scoring just back and forth and then spinning it around, lining it up on that quarter inch line. Sorry if my hair is getting in the video. And then that final side, again, that quarter inch line and just score it. You could do two lines. You could do, you know, all just lines down one side if you wanted to. But then what that does is it scores that line for you just around the edge. I'm going to come in and I'm going to stamp the greeting in Berry Burst. You've been on my mind and I'm going to line it up just above that score line at the bottom. So there we go, just like that. And then I'm going to take the berry or the bubble, <laughs> bubble bath. I thought about doing it with the Berry Burst, but I thought it might be a bit too heavy. So I'm just going to take my blending brush and I'm just going to come around the outside. Just add that little bit of color. And again, with these new foam pads, you don't want to be dragging your cardstock through the foam pad because you can tear the surface of it. It's not like the old linen pads where we just used to drag everything through them. So I've got that done. Now I would like to come in and do my Daffodil Delight. And I love the way this is shaped because it just seems to fit perfectly around those flowers. And I'm going to come in, I'm going off the edge, I'm going over the um, rest of it. I'm just doing the top here for now because I need to add in my other leaves and flowers. So 
So we're just going to close this back up because I will put my hand in it. So let's bring in our other pieces here. I'm going to dimensionalize the flowers that I fussy cut out. I liked it like this, but I thought it was just kind of a little plain around the bottom. So I'm just popping these on like this, dimensionalized so they lift it up just that little bit. And then I'm going to, I need my small dimensionals. I'm just going to do the lift on these. So I'm putting small dimensionals at the top of the leaves, just like this. And then I'm just going to put some adhesive and I've realized what the difference is with this adhesive as I ordered the um, refills, the, the Stamp and Seal Plus. That's the difference. Um, but uh, so I'm just going to pop the leaves in underneath, kind of like this. And come on, take that backing off. And then pop this one in kind of. I kind of want it to be down here like this but what that does is it gives us that lift and the closer to the middle that you put that dimensional it it lifts it up that little bit further but I really wanted the 3d effect on this one so I'm going to come back in now and finish off with my uh, scatter dots if somebody has a better name for these, please tell me in the comments what you call them. I just call them scatter dots. So um, just tuck that up like that. A bit more around here. You can put as many or as few as you want. I just wanted to fill in some of the space, kind of fill in that background a little bit. Um, and then we just need to put everything together. So we take our stamp and seal. And then we just layer it on like that. There we go. And then we're just going to just flat mount this up as well. Like that. Make sure I don't have any adhesive on the edge. And then layer this up. I was thinking about cutting this center piece just a little bit smaller so you could see more of the paper around the edge. Um, but um, I kind of like it with that much white space. So there is my sample card and then the video card. Um, so let me know which one you prefer, if you like the uh, extra leaves um, and the different background, or if you prefer the just the two leaves with the extra flowers. So thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more alternates.